Alright, in this video I'm going to do another example of solving an absolute value inequality. Um, it's going to be of the type where we have a quantity greater than or equal to some number, where that number is greater than or equal to zero. And what we're going to do again is we're basically just going to set up two inequalities that we have to solve. So the first inequality basically just says remove the absolute value. So 8 minus 2d over 9 greater than or equal to 5. Or it's going to turn out the other solution will be when the quantity inside 8 minus 2d over 9 is less than or equal to the negative of that value. And that's going to give us our two inequalities now that we have to solve. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply by 9 on each side of the first inequality. That'll cancel out the 9's on the left and just leave me with 8 minus 2d greater than or equal to 45. I can subtract 8 from both sides. So I'll have negative 2d greater than or equal to uh, 45 minus 8. I believe that's going to give us a positive 37. And now we can divide both sides by negative 2. Again, remembering that we have to flip the inequality now because we've uh, divided by a negative number. So we'll have 37, basically negative 37 over 2. We'll do the same thing on the other inequality, just multiply both sides by 9. That again will cancel out the 9's on the left. We have 8 minus 2d less than or equal to negative 45. And again if we just subtract 8 and subtract 8, I'll have negative 2d less than or equal to, in this case I'm going to get uh, negative 53, so negative 45 minus 8. And then again, I'm simply going to divide by negative 2, uh, by negative 2. And it says d has to be greater than or equal to 53 over 2. So it says as long as d falls in one of these two intervals of numbers, that'll give us our solution. So again, graphically, just to maybe see it on a number line. So here's negative 37 over 2. It can be less than or equal to that or um, 53 over 2, that's positive, can be greater than or equal to that. So in terms of writing this using interval notation, we can say our solution is the interval negative infinity up to negative 37 over 2, parentheses, again, or excuse me, brackets, brackets, uh, we need to use brackets here because we can include it, or um, again brackets, 53 over 2 to positive infinity. Again, we always put parentheses around the infinities, but again, certainly brackets here. Um, and now we've got our solution to our very original um, absolute value inequality.